Last time on Adventure Drift, we left Santa Barbara behind, excited to get back out to the remote and beautiful Channel Islands, but encountered some very bad luck on our very first night, breaking our bowsprit while hauling up the anchor. Assessing the damages, we were forced to return to the California coast and bring Varuna into a boatyard. So today, what are we doing? We're kind of going through the process with the insurance company, hoping they'll cover it yep. or cover some of it or it's going to be expensive mm -hmm. uh, we've got about two thousand bucks at least on our deductible, deductible plus whatever's not covered anyway today we're gonna kind of get everything ready so they can start work on it so we're gonna try to remove our fourth day yep no idea what we're doing I mean, it looks <laughs> really easy but we just don't want to screw it up it's like one of those things that's like it's such it's an integral a, part an important part of the boat. yeah <laughs> we're like oh, i hope we do this right and don't make more problems for us which is what usually happens I think to anyone but definitely to us uh, so what we're gonna do here is actually we're gonna loosen the backstay here and ease some tension so we'll undo the wires here uh, ease some tension which will let us then hopefully unattach the force stay and we'll chuck that over to the side a bit so it's the same up front right we just got this one pin yeah, so, check that out. so I think up front we'll just pull the cotter pin out here mm -hmm. and then this should just come right out front uh -huh. if we've got it loosened enough here yeah otherwise we may need like a block and like just a bit, uh, mallet to tap it mm -hmm. so there'll still be a bit of tension on it just make sure we don't drop anything put it in the yeah. bag no we, we're, we're going to loosen this so loosen we're just, it we're just take not... this off here oh yeah take that off so we're going like, to tape put some tape on the top and bottom here so we know where to um, tighten it again so we need to put some tape on the top i think tape mm -hmm. we'll probably put a marker on it as well marker and some so we've tape. got two I don't know how well the marker will show. So tape clean here. It off. There's all this salt and stuff on it. Tape here. Taped off our uh, backstay here. So we've kind of got a marker of where we were set. So hopefully we can just retention it to the same spot and not have to worry about that. That's too small. Too small. Getting picky now. Too small. Okay, so have you grabbed this pin? Okay. Keep your hand on that because that's what we're going to take out. I think we're going to have to loosen it. Backstay some more though. Okay. Okay, so I've got this. And it shouldn't fall, come down anyway, so I'm going to try and hold this. I just want okay. you to grab that yeah, pin. Yeah, I'm pushing on this too, so... Okay, we need the pin, so don't lose that. Yeah. Coming out of it, looks like. Maybe, maybe not. Mm, I don't think so. Maybe a tiny bit. Okay. Let's support the weight of this a bit more up here. So this just needs more support. you got to really push forward on yeah. it, I think. I got it. And then I'll see if I can... Good. 
So I need like something to punch it out. Take this whole thing off. Yeah. Build the stainless steel, come all the way back here, mm -hmm. talk about that, and I'll just redo the whole thing. Yeah. So it actually looks pretty basic to see it like that. Yeah. With the mast still braced forward with the support of the inner force stay, we tied the main force stay up and out of the way so they could get to work. So, uh, yeah, here's our, our bow sprit. Our bow sprit. Our old bow sprit. Yeah. Um, and you can see there actually wasn't much to it, so it probably wasn't that well made. See, it's kind of a lot of pieces that are cobbled together and then yeah. just barely, haven't even really... They're all little individual blocks, yeah. right, braced with the plates and then with the cheeks up here. So all it was really getting, and it was all being held on, there was like a pin that ran There's through one them. One long through bolt that went all one the way One long through, through here. bolt here. It was supposed to hold them together, I don't know. Um, and you can see here, this didn't break off, this was, right, this was how it was attached. So the actual attachments to the deck were through here. So really holding this whole weight plus the anchor weight on there plus whatever else we had up there um, and we used a snubber but it was just not going to support this. This was It was bound to happen. Um, we did actually order a new anchor. We did, yep. We decided if we're redoing all this we've been thinking for a while about upgrading to a Rockna so we yep. have that um, and that'll be built in with our new little anchor pulpit bowsprit. So we're going to have them both nested up there now. Mm -hmm. And we'll make the Rockner our primary, which is a little bit heavier of a Rockner as well. Yep. What that means is, is that we're, the boat yard here is going to redesign us a whole new anchor pulpit, bow pulpit, bowsprit, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it. Yep. Yeah. So realistically, there's a, there's a bit of design work to do to mm -hmm. come up with something that's really right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you end up going, yeah, I'm glad I spent all this money. Right. You know? yeah. yeah. And right now you're going off on the... Yeah. When, when this is probably the biggest mm -hmm. tool you're going to use on your boat right. all the time. Well, that's the thing. You know, we're, yeah. we're, we're obviously cautious of budget, but in the end of the day, it's something we want. Yeah. We want yeah, it done right. And now, the way it was, was not done properly. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it that way. So right. what I'll do is yeah. same basic functionality and stuff, but built properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... Um, because I just see it snap off. I don't see yeah. any damage underneath or any of yeah, that stuff. Yeah, but I, anything, yeah. And I think what we just have to do is take it off mm -hmm. and then incorporate all that stuff into the new thing. So the new yeah. plank can't obviously end there. It has to go carry all the way underneath right. the the mm -hmm. uh, winch. Yeah, it's all one piece, so exactly. Yeah. So the re replacement is the whole thing anyway. The new one that's going to be designed, we're going all stainless. Yeah. So it'll be one con continuous stainless steel piece all fabricated together, all integrated. So there won't be any of this having to block through wood or anything like that and then it'll be offset so there'll be the Bruce anchor will be over here as a, as a secondary and we'll have our Rockner as our primary yep. set forward. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately we're looking at a while still. Yeah they're thinking it could be up to three weeks. Uh, a lot of hours and expensive right now. The quote is about seven grand mm -hmm. <laughs> which was mostly labor Yeah. and very little of materials and then whatever we can do is going to save a bit of time and money. Unfortunately we're don't have much time because I had to pick up some work to try and help out with the bills. So it was a wash, yeah. right? Do we stay here and work on the boat and save money or do I get work and save money that way? It's going to change our plans around a bit now because it's getting so late in the year now. We're end of August. We wanting... were expecting to be probably in Mexico by now initially. Yeah, yeah. Well, Perhaps at least... Into Ensenada area. Right, down yeah. There. We were going to station in San Diego and then just kind of leave when we were ready. But now, we're thinking yeah. skipping San Diego or doing the minimal in San Diego yeah, to check out. Yeah, to check out, yeah. It's going to be late in the year, so you'll be getting all the cruises heading down. Baja ha ha, big rally that goes down, and we don't want to be a part of that, so. We're going to avoid the crowd for that, and we want to stop at the little places on the way. We don't really want to go down to Cabo straight away. No. Nope. Um, but it does change things up here. We're not sure if we're going to get back to the islands because of the Santa Ana winds. Santa Ana winds blow in the fall, which is the big, like, offshore winds, and it makes pretty unsafe anchorages out at the islands when those happen. So we're not sure if we'll be able to get back out there, which is a bummer. Mm-hmm. Ready or not, we jumped back into our old world and headed down to San Diego for Ty to do some work. 
While we had the opportunity to stay on Varuna and do some of the labor ourselves, it made more sense financially for Ty to work, making enough money to hopefully pay for the repairs. We began adjusting to life back on land, enjoying the air conditioning and hot showers, but missing the freedom of being on our boat. Just down the street from our hotel, we could walk along the waterfront, looking at all the boats in the harbor. We had heard many people talk about the Cruiser's Anchorage in San Diego. Located right in the center of town, just behind these moorings on the other side of the Coast Guard, and free for non-residents of California for up to 90 days per year. This is a popular spot for cruisers, and we may pass through here on our way south if we can get a spot. After a couple days, it was time to hit the road again, as we temporarily joined the rat race of daily commutes, traffic, and the stress from the working world. So over the next few weeks, we get to do a bit of exploring some pretty cool places, do a little tour of Southern Central California, Nevada, all around that area while you do some work. Yay. Yay. Thanks very much for watching guys, really appreciate it. I uh, hope you liked this episode. If you did, thumbs up is awesome. Yes. Leave us your comments below, we'd love to uh, respond when we can there. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. Yeah, and also huge thanks to all of our patrons. And if you want to join our patron crew, go ahead and check out the link right over there. And thanks so much for watching, we'll see you next time. Thanks guys, cheers. Bye. A new anchor. <laughs> We're on a new anchor? Uh-huh. It came in. We got it already. It's, it's a version of a Rockner. It's a custom made. Yeah. One of a kind. We can't call it a Rockner because of the patent on it. Um, we're going to call it a Varuna. A Varuna? Yeah. <laughs>